answer that we just got for the frequency there? So let's say that we're sticking with the potassium, but now we're going to use uh, a photon that has a frequency of 6 times 10 to the 14th. And the question is, the maximum kinetic energy of the freed electrons, is this going to increase the kinetic energy of the freed electrons or the number of free electrons? Yeah, but not the number, because that would depend on the intensity, which is the number of photons. Okay, so if you like, um, you can actually work this out numerically, or if you're comfortable with that, you can just describe to me in words how you would go about solving this. Um, so you can use the same equation, um, the energy of the photon equals 20 constant times frequency to solve for the energy. Right. So uh, the energy minus the work function would give you the maximum. Okay, good. You left out one detail which is that when you use Planck's constant formula, what units will your energy come out in? Um, well, they're in electron volts, but the constant in the Now, let's be a little careful with that. Maybe we should actually do that calculation. What are we going to plug into this equation? We're going to plug in this frequency, right? So what units will the, uh, this energy come out in? It'll come out in joules. We're kind of doing the reverse of the previous problem. In the previous problem, we started with electron volts and had to move into joules. But now in this problem, we're starting with standard units of joules because we're using Planck's constant, which is in joules. So this energy would come out in, elect uh, it would come out in joules. Which means before you can compare it to the work function, you need to put it into electron volts. You would just flip this conversion ratio down here. Okay. Um, and then you could do the subtraction to figure out what the kinetic energy was. Um, did you want to go through that numerically, or does that make sense? Okay, good. So the key problem here again was the unit conversion. So we got to watch out for the unit conversions here. Um, the work functions are in electron volts, but Planck's constant is in joules. So we have to go back and forth there. Um, let's say that uh, let's say I tell you the wavelength of the photon, and I ask you for the maximum kinetic energy of the freed electrons. Let's talk through how we would solve that. Using which equation? smaller than the work function. Yeah, so you'll do this minus this. On the other hand, what would it mean if this number came out smaller than the work function? Yeah, then there wouldn't be. That would be a good trap. So you can't assume necessarily that this wavelength will free any electrons. There's really two questions. Will this free electrons? And if it does free electrons, how much extra kinetic energy will they have? So first of all, you've got to compare this energy and this energy to see if it's even big enough to free the electrons. And if it is big enough, then you can do the subtraction to find the kinetic energy. All right, you're pretty sure, like I said, to have to use this, these ideas on the test, so it's good to have these uh, in your notes.